Okay, continuing on with the another cutaway house, part four. Um, here's where we're at, and uh, we're gonna make some pillows. Now, there's different ways of doing this, using cloth uh, and uh, force fields and stuff, and you know it can get really high poly very fast and almost too realistic looking and so what I'm going to do in this case is uh, bring this 3d cursor right to there and do something a little simpler I'm going to bring in a plane scale it down bring it up a little bit and keep scaling until I get the approximate size of the pillow I would want to use let's bring it up to where it would be So I'm just SY, SX, that kind of thing. All right, so we could start with that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it some thickness, E, and I'm gonna pull up in the Z direction. Give it a bit of thickness like that. And then I'm gonna put in some edge loops, not too many. Control R and roll my mouse wheel up till I have maybe five cuts like that. Do the same thing here. Two, three, four, five. All right, that's gonna be probably, I hope, enough. Okay, so let's set the origin of geometry on that and Shift S cursor to select it. So my 3D cursor is right there. And then I'm gonna go Shift A and I'm gonna bring in a lattice. Click lattice, you get this white box. All right, with it still selected, I'm going to hit S to scale, and I'm going to bring it down so it's like a cage around my pillow. Scale in the Z. And I want it to just fit my pillow. Scale in the Y. Scale in the X. So it's just like the outer border of the pillow. Just like that a little bit. Okay. Come over here to the side where it says lattice, and I'm going to increase the... Uh, subdivisions like that and like this select the pillow again and under modifiers choose lattice and then for the object just choose the lattice so now we can uh, affect the lattice and it'll change the shape of this so here's what I'm going to do go into edit mode of the lattice and I am going to take these points select all these outer points in fact, it might be easier if I select the lattice and the pillow and go Shift H to isolate them. Back into the lattice, select those points. Oh, I lost my selection. Hold down Shift. Those points, and I'm going to scale in the Z. That's going to bend my mesh. It's like that. I think I actually need these points a little bit. Scale in the Z, maybe not quite as much. And I'm going to take that point. And that point, and I'll try scaling the Z up like this. Mm -hmm. We can start with that. Let's also take these end points and bring them in, scale in the Y a little bit. We're just trying to simulate in general a pillow. Maybe these ones could come out a little bit. Scaling the X just a little bit like that. Nothing crazy. I might have to flatten that a bit more. Let's try adding a subdivision surface on this as well. Smooth it. We can take this and we can hide that. And we're just going for something like this. Let's Alt H and that'll bring everything back. But let's go back to the lattice. Take this one and this one. We can scale the Z a little bit more. All right. Uh, I can do a bit more work, I'll show you in a second. Once I'm relatively happy, I can take this and apply the lattice. Get rid of the lattice and I've got this shape. Now if I want to do more, I could come in and in vertex or in edge selection or whatever, let's say I grab that vertex, I could turn on proportional editing and leave this on something like uh, smooth or sphere or whatever. Zoom out a bit and start pulling up and you'll see a white circle. Scroll your mouse wheel up to make it smaller, out to make it bigger. And I could do this. And I can also affect the shape 
if I want to do that. Just don't forget to turn it off, disable it. All right, and I have some kind of shape that I might or might not like. I could select these points and I could turn on proportional editing and I could scale Z and I can make the, this bigger or smaller if I just want to get the corners, but I want a little bit of a curve. Just, you know, get something you like. And that's one subdivision and I've jumped up. If I do two, it'll be a little bit smoother, but if I'm copying this pillow, and so I have a mind to just leave it like that. It's not the nicest pillow, but you know, we jump up in polys quite a bit. You could also consider coming in here, putting an edge loop there, shift alt and clicking all the way around here. Uh, actually, what I'll do instead is uh, I will um, shift H isolate that control 7 to from the very bottom and I'll set that up I'll switch to face selection and see and let's see how it looks if did I put an edge loop in there if we get rid of those faces you could do that and you could grab that edge and SZ0 that will go oh, see turn off proportional editing SZ0 that will flatten that and if I alt H bring everything back and take this and push it down to the bed like that. We could save ourselves a few polys. Yeah, no one's gonna know the difference as it's viewed from so far away. And again, that may all almost look too distorted for this kind of model, too smooth. We'll go with that. Okay. something simpler than that for this kind of model but we'll leave it like that for now okay so we're coming to these lamps and I am really thinking that they're very similar to this aren't they could we use some of this copy it to there maybe just delete the top and then make that we ought to try I really think let's shift T period key to zoom in, bring it down, let's look at the approximate size, the base looks pretty close, maybe this is a bit thick, let's go into this and have a look here, if we could delete at the top we could start to use, we could use some of this, so what we could do in this case is we could just look from an ortho orthographic view like that, go into wireframe, when vertex box select maybe all of this I still got that edge loop there so I'll get rid of everything from that point down I could then shift alt and click on that row of or circle row of vertices and I could control plus to increase my or enlarge my selection to include those and one more to include those maybe even one more to include those and then I could scale this but not in the Z S shift Z no turn off proportional editing S shift Z and I could make it narrower and go out of wireframe okay because it looks like it's kind of a narrower you know little stem there S shift Z 
And then if I wanted to make it shorter while I've still got it select selected, I could go Control minus to remove from my selection. So I just have the top and I can pull it down. Now how, how high does that come up? A little bit hard to tell. Almost maybe to the height of that. Uh, makes me think actually. Uh, yeah. Let me have a look at this height too with respect to the mattress. Yeah. Oh, I see. Of course, the headboard is higher than the footboard. That's why it's going to be closer to the picture. Yeah, something I missed. Before we go any further, let's do that. Let's go into the bed and just grab this face. Oh, this is going to be so much better. Pull it up like that. Yeah, sometimes you do stuff and you don't know why it doesn't look right to you. That looks like a better bed to me. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's go back into the lamp. And let's select this upper edge. Line edge selection, there we go. Just like that. I might leave that open, but let's copy this. Shift D and let's leave it there. S to scale. And how wide is this? This thing looks like it's wider at the bottom and at the top than the base. So let's make it bigger. Let's go with that. And then E, pull it up. S, pull it in. I think I need to select that one again and S, make it wider. that it's all one piece so I think I'm going to take this select the piece and go control L and P to make it a new object select it and set the origin of geometry on just that piece I'm going to come in and let's try E S see how that works so when I do that and I pull it in or out I get this loop no, like that. Let's try Alt S. Oh, that gives me a better result. I come out, that's too thick. Alt S again. Pull it in a little bit. And I'm going to uh, shift Alt and click those and go Alt S and just pull, push up and just make it a little bit thinner. Select the whole thing and control N to flip any polys um, I need to. Okay. Now I'll control R and then bring an edge loop up here. And control R, bring an edge loop down there. Do the same on the inside. Up. Oops. Oh, let's not do that. And on the bottom. Down near the bottom. And along here, I think we'll go in. It may even be too thick. There we go. Get into the lamp there. An edge loop towards the outside and towards the inside. Let's have a look at this. Let's pull it down a bit. So I've got one subdivision on it so far. Let's hit smoothing. That's probably going to be okay from where we are. Okay. So let's just have a look at it relative to the diagram. Sort of from the headboard up. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Shift Alt and click that. And go Control G and make that a group. And Shift D. Bring it over here. So, we got lamps and we got pillows. And we can center those up. And it looks like this room is just about done.
There we go. Cool. 10,000. One, two, three, four, five more rooms to go. All right, we'll come back in the next video and we'll start working on another room.